Google Search Console, Page Indexing, Server Error, 5XX. I'll cover internal server errors and how you can troubleshoot this problem and where to look at and work around. Basically, what this report tells you in Search Console is saying Google is seeing URLs on your website and when it tries to request it, then the server is sending internal server error messages. That's 500 internal server error. But keep in mind, Search Console doesn't really tell us exactly, you know, the number. You know, it could be 500 or 1. For example, HTTP 501. Not implemented and so on. So it's very tricky problem to fix for most websites. But nonetheless, here is what you need to do. Yeah, depending on the content management system that you're using, depending on the apps or plugins, the best place to check this problem and solve it is on your web server log files. So if you're using cPanel, simply log into it. If you're using FTP, simply log into your web server and you will get to see the error log, right? So I'll show you a sample to, to just double check. Let's imagine an error log. Here you can sometimes see that internal server errors are caused by plugins, security plugins, website plugins, or it could even be related to your theme setup. And the best way to identify what's really going on is by looking at your server logs, because here we can see your more details. And at times, we can then look at the information in error logs and say, hmm, it seems that the Search Console Server Error 5XX was encountered when we do URL inspection. We can see when Google last crawled it and when the, the server sent out a uh, server error code as we can see so basically in search console you use URL inspection tool to inspect the problem URL and then match that to your server log files because then you'll get an idea as to hmm it seems that Google request the page let's say 21st March 2004 and your server um, had a warning or an error message there too in your server error logs then you know exactly okay in this example it's related to a plugin the website uses and a typical cPanel setup the error logs can be located in your website installation directory it's smart to download it and analyze it on your local computer also I'll show you a couple of methods that you may be able to use on your website and that is you can use PHP debug backtrace that will then show you a backtrace tra of errors and so on there is different methods that you can accomplish this you can use var dumped or print r and debug backtrace will backtrace and give you more details ex as to exactly what theme files or the coding is causing server issues. One way or another, for all page indexing errors, I can't show you my valued client's reports, but we're working on it. But let's imagine a page with red redirect. It's basically the similar report in terms of all known pages can oftentimes have internal server errors 
but all submitted pages should not have internal server errors okay so keep that in mind and often even the search functionality may cause problems or paginations of websites may cause internal server errors furthermore let me press on control u on the keyboard and here although the web page let's say this web page this url may be okay and yet sometimes some javascript files may actually cause problems if google can't access those javascript files or css files so to speak i know that's rather silly to even consider but i've seen that happen let's imagine a wordpress contact form 7 plugin which which is very popular plugin for web forms and it requires certain files to make that form work and if for some reason google can't access those files which are internal to your website in that example then obviously google try and request it as in request the page and the form with it may encounter problems accordingly so the best option is to analyze your error logs and even consider running php debug backtrace function that's how you approach fixing internal server errors because it could be tricky it could be related to many different things mainly server settings could cause this and website theme settings could cause this plugins could cause this so i can't really tell you this is where you need to look but rather share different approaches for troubleshooting keep in mind i'm maintain maintaining a playlist for all page indexing errors on rank your youtube channel and i'll have great tutorials on rank your website as well okay i thank you for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session